Good morning, BHS. Today is January 3rd, 2022. We have a new security officer in our school. His name in Bra his name is Brian Casey, so do not be scared to say hi and introduce yourself if you see him walk around the halls. Now let's go to Hannah's special. First of all, I should look like that, bro. Hey, so for today's special, we're going to be answering questions from the topic jar. You ready, James? Yes. Okay. A portal to another world opens in front of you. You don't know how long it'll stay open for, or if you'll be able to get back after you go through. What do you do? I'm going through. Even if it's like a pit of lava? I know. honestly don't care. I'm going through the portal. That's very apathetic. Maybe a bit concerning. It's a bit concerning, but after the year we've been having, I prefer a nice portal. Well, you know, wouldn't we all in a way? Yeah. Okay, James, you can you pick one up. What Netflix show did you binge embarrassingly quickly? Um, I think I watched Haunting of Hill House in like a day, but also it's not that long. But every episode's like an hour, so. Yeah, I have a good one for this, but. I I'm you can answer. No. No, yes, you can. No. Yeah. No. Okay, well. You can go now. All right. What food looks disgusting but tastes delicious? Oh, you mean, uh, what is it? It's just like Chinese fruit. I don't know what it's called, but it's like doesn't look like it's gonna taste good, but it like really is does. It taste good. Food? It's dragon fruit. It's dragon Yes. That's how oh good. It is. Doesn't look the most appetizing. No. What flavor of ice cream do you wish existed? You know, I think conceptually, an ice cream and the flavor of sleep would be good. You know, imagine eating the ice cream and it tastes like when you sleep. That's a very interesting ice cream flavor. Well, you know, it's never going to exist, and it cannot exist. So, That's you know. very true. All right, this is the final question, James. What is something you are obsessed with? Sleep. Wow. Consistency. Yeah, I'd be falling asleep very easily. That's it all. That's all for today. On Wednesday, January 5th, JAG Productions is putting together a digital video of the history of the Atlantic Ocean. The film is about the transatlantic slave trade. Um, it will show how black, queer, and feminist artists have honored history and healed trauma. The film is on Zoom and starts at 7 p.m. Now over to James with the weather. Uh, today it is partly cloudy. It, we have a high of 24 and a low of 11. Tomorrow it is supposed to be sunny with a high of 35 and a low of 23. And then on Wednesday, it's going to be a high of 43 and a low of 29. With Thursday, it's going to be partly cloudy with a high of 34, low of 26. And on Friday, we should be expecting some snow with a high of 31 and a low of 10. Now back over to the desk. <laughs> January 7th. The Silks are coming to the Stone Church in downtown Brattleboro playing the 7th and opening for a band of killers on the 8th. On January 8th, the Stone Church is hosting a band of killers at 8 p.m. A band of killers features Toussaint, the Liberator, on vocals, Tom Array of Vapors of Morphine, and Jay Giel's band Darby... Darby Wolf, <laughs> formerly of Rubble Bucket, on keys. Nate Edgar on... <laughs> of 
<laughs> Bauer on bass, and Johnny Tama on guitar from the Dove Apocalypse, and the Silks, who will be opening the night. Now over to Quinn with funny news. Oh, Alrighty. Um, so, on December 22nd, a woman in Hawaii had an unusual encounter with a wild boar. Ingrid Siepel, who was a surfer near Ohana Key Point, who has spotted a strange brown floating object, which she initially thought was a Hawaiian monk seal. But once the animal lifted its head, she was quite surprised when she realized it was a boar. The boar started swimming towards her. And I, she quotes, I was trying to paddle away. It was very close. Close. It was getting closer. I pushed my board between the pig and I, but it, and it bit my board. She said the surfer was able to swim back to shore without injuries. What does a boar look like? What do you mean, what? A pig. It's a wild boar. It's a it's a furry pig. It's furry. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just a furry know. pig with tusks. I don't know. Do we have boars here? Mm, not really no, here. No, they're, they. So how was I expected to know that? <laughs> it's just a boar. Time, a boar is Hawaii. a wild pig. One time I was literally in Hawaii and I was like walking back. You've been up to from Hawaii? The, uh -huh. Okay. I was back. I was walking back up from the beach and there was a boar and it pinned me and I was just by myself <laughs> and it was pretty scary. So. It must have been a very traumatic experience for you. Are they aggressive? Her fear. Yeah, uh, I'm guessing wild boars are semi-aggressive because they're wild. Yeah, I mean, okay. I was fine. I kind of just sat there for like 20 minutes, but uh, that woman clearly got attacked. So. Yep, by a boar. The only Did thing I got into. Did she go up injured. to it? No, it what? went up to her. She was trying okay. to swim well, away. She was surfing, Brenna. <laughs> yeah, I know, but maybe she was like, oh, look at it. It's so cute. And you don't just see a boar it. in the water and like, oh, Didn't I'm going to go pet it. Did a boar? No, she thought it was a seal. and yeah. I still wouldn't go up to a seal in the yeah. water. But maybe she would. Why? She's like a surfer. It said she paddled away. Yeah, she paddled away. Oh. It's <laughs> it swam after. I imagine being chased down in the water by a boar. Yeah, that's not what I was expecting. All right, back to the desk. I feel bacon. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, BOHS announced that to be considered fully vaccinated, you must have a Pfizer Moderna shot within the last six months or a Johnson & Johnson shot within the last two months. To get a booster shot, please visit healthvermont.org or call 855-722-7878 to schedule your shot. <laughs> On Saturday, January 8th, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., you can attend the Brattleboro Winter Farmers Market at 80 Flat Street in Brattleboro. If you're looking for fresh food, head on down to the Farmers Market. Now over to Dalen with his special. <clears throat> 2021 was a great year for music, and I can't wait to see what 2022 brings to the table. With that being said, let's see what Billboard's top artists were for 2021. Coming in at first, we have The Weeknd. I'm not angry about that. He has had a lot of good music in the past, but I haven't heard anything from him recently, so it's kind of weird for me, or weird to me that he got the top artist spot for 2021. But, but maybe it's just me. Um... Next, we have Olivia Rodrigo. I'm not really sure who that is, but I'm pretty sure she had like a viral TikTok song. So good for her. Next, we have Morgan Wallen. I'm not a big country guy, but I really like the new song you just dropped with Lil Dirk called Broadway Girls. Next, we have Taylor Swift. And I feel like she has had a lot of popular songs, but not in 2021. So I'm also a little confused by that. And last, but definitely not least, my favorite, Drake. I definitely understand this one, he just dropped a great album, and his beef with Kanye West definitely boosted his views. Not only did he go get top artists, though, he also got top album. This has been my special. Let me know if you agree with these artists being the top artists for 2021. And now back to the desk. Spider-Man, No Way Home, The Matrix, Resurrection, Sing 2, and West Side Story are all playing at the Lashes Theater in downtown Bradbrook. You can check out the times on their website. Now over to Aaron with sports. Hey. Uh, all right. The boys varsity basketball is playing Northampton High School home this Wednesday at 7. Uh, also, this Wednesday, there is a home boys hockey game at 7.15. The girls varsity basketball is also playing Northampton High School this Tuesday, but away at 7. Girls Hockey is playing away at Stowe High School this Wednesday at 7. And this Tuesday, Nordic has a meet home at 3 o'clock. Now back to the desk. 
I just announced it. Come ski a ride at Memorial Park Ski Hill. Lift tickets are $5, and the hours are Friday 4 to 9, Saturday 10 to 9, and Sunday 12 to 4. The Ski Hill is 100% volunteer run, including snow making and grooming, so if you're interested, please come help out. That's, that's all for today, BUHS. Thank you tons. Bye. Ooh.